Let's go, girls. Hello and welcome to your two drunk aunties with Bron Lewis and Sammy Peterson. We are both of mm. those people. I'm Sammy Peterson. I'm your auntie who every time you ask what the time is, she says time to get a watch. Oh, oh, oh God, that is a sick burn. Sick Aunt burn Jen. from auntie well again. Done. Oh, my God. She's got me again. Oh, God, i got to get a watch. <laughs> and I'm Bron Lewis. I'm your drunk auntie who irons her bed sheets and thinks that everyone who doesn't is a lazy so-and-so. <laughs> Welcome to your two drunk aunties. Hello. Now, we had a beautiful, beautiful caller. <gasps> do you remember our, our good friend Ria? Yeah, I who, do. Who uh, called in and said, you know, what do you do for a, a romantic weekend yeah. away? Right. So I have heard from gorgeous Ria. Uh, recently, and a little update since the last time that we spoke. Now, I'm just finding this. I'm just stalling while I'm finding it. Here, I found it. Here, I found it. Hey, Sammy, can't actually believe you featured my speak pipe on the latest You Too Drunk Aunties app. Can't actually believe it. You mispronounced her name and everything. I know, the word. Even though it was a speak pipe. Sorry, sorry, Ria. Can happily give you an update. My beautiful partner, Hannah, actually proposed to me when we're on holiday. We had a lovely time and they proposed on the beach during fish and chips. Love to Bron and Deeds. Oh, that's so nice. And I said, oh, I'd love to update Bron on this. She said, would love for you to, um, I would love for you to do an update. It was so beautiful. Little did they know I'll be proposing right back at them in the springtime at the park when we had our first date. How nice is that followed That's by nice. cocktails. Isn't but that is beautiful? That how it works? Do you have to give one back? I think it's it's nice to give one back. I mean you don't have to. You don't I don't think you have to uh, do a proposal twice. I don't but in that any nice? Of it works. That's did you propose so to nice. Lucas no, as well? He, no way. No way. Why he proposed no way? to me and then I was like, that's enough. And then I've never, no, no. Why? I, I don't know. <laughs> why don't you, now, Matt, now, why don't you ask why him again? Know that was the, I didn't know that was the protocol. Why don't you ask him again? Why don't you ask, him, ask, now? Why don't call ask him, him now? Call him now. Call him now run and ask him. Back. Imagine, run until they imagine if he says no. Oh, no, thanks. I don't think you're the one. <laughs> I don't think you're the one. I'm still waiting. <laughs> oh. I still haven't found what I'm looking for. You too. Oh. Yeah. That's you could sing it if you want. Oh, sounds like quite Dig's nice, singing actually. that. Dig's, that was actually shush. quite nice. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. Okay, I, now I know you're supposed to ask back. I guess it's like the um, – I went for a long walk act recently yeah. and I went for – part of the walk I w- walked with someone who did not ask a single question. I know the person you're talking about. It's Dig's. It's Dig's and he and never he asked did questions. Not ask but he tells me one you every question. single item in you. But I'm always amazed Jacks. when people don't ask any questions. Like it not is a one. crazy when you're sitting there and they go, go oh, so you do that. Yep. Yeah. And so, you know, you're, you're working on that at the moment? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And so, what? like, what else is like, what else is going on? Yeah. Oh, not much. What did you get up to on the weekend? Oh, I did oh, this. a bit. A bit on. Oh, I mean, I guess I had a weekend as well, but why would you ask me about it? Well, just, I love doing that in, you know, uh, when I love doing it to an audience member when they, you know, I'm going, how's your night? And then they go, yeah, good. And they go, Oh, mine's good too. Thanks for asking. Not even interested in me. Very good. But yeah, but so you went for a walk where no one, no one was asking any questions, and you just have to continue a conversation. Yes, a two-sided conversation. But oh, it's so irritating. I've got to tell you this one time. Usually, you know, hecklers they very rarely win. Like I've only ever seen one. I think I've only ever seen one win once. Yeah, and I tell you, and he 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 tackled me to the ground and kept punching me in the face. Was that one? That's you said I deserved it. That's the one. No, there was a comedian on stage, and they weren't doing very well. And then they asked, and like the crowd was being. Fine, you know, weren't being nasty about it. And then he asked this one guy who was like, maybe a bit cheeky. He said, "Hey, mate, what do you do?" And the guy was like, "I'm a plumber. What do you do?" And that was a sick. That's burn. very good. I like That's that. That's a good burn. Yeah, he won. Well, I told you that I got uh, got a little heckle line that I could use. It's very on the nose. It's very on the nose. But this is the line, right? So okay. I was doing an awful, awful gig, and a guy says to me when I'm. M seeing a gig, he says, look, if anyone heckles, I've got a good line for you. Mm. Uh, you just say, I don't I don't come down to your work and slap the cocks out of your mother's mouth. <laughs> yeah, so and ridiculous. I then had to go back on stage and I was so confused I couldn't focus on what I was doing. What I was like, where does the mean? mother work? What are you talking about? What's your job? <laughs> it doesn't make any there? sense at all. He's going, he just goes, <laughs> As I'm walking off, he's got his stubby. Just oh. the best day of his goddamn life. Now, I have to tell you something quickly before we uh, go into our first segment of Letter to Your Aunties today. What is it? That uh, my car got broken into. No, it didn't. Yeah, it did. And uh, How? my beautiful did they Nissan Duellis. No, they, they picked, somehow picked the lock, right? Oh, okay, that's good. That's fine. And, yeah, it's fine. Did it damage the lock? Got it, got, it, got it fixed. I ended up getting it fixed. Did it cost you money? Cost me money. But How much? I'm not telling you. 
Why? Because I like to keep my secrets. Why is this a secret? Okay, it cost me four hundred and fifty-eight dollars oh and ninety-five God. cents. Okay, so I've had a big, I've had a big, you know, I've had a, a real rough time recently in terms of lots of things the rats going wrong. Cost the, you a thousand dollars. Yeah, to over get rid a thousand dollars in excess of a thousand dollars. Whoa! Yeah, so there's a lot of, lot of, lot of things I'm sorry. happening. A lot of things happening. One of the things they took was a house key. So I had a spare house key. They also took my swimming bag and that's like just strewn around the place. So they just, they basically oh. got all of my stuff. There was nothing really that they could have taken in there. Where, from, they, in front of your house? Pardon? Where, where was your car? It was in my, um, in my parking They spot. came here? Yeah, they in came here. Car- oh in my car Oh my spot. God. Did you know instantly that your car had been yeah, broken into? How, yeah. How, how? They had all the, the doors open, which is all a pretty good All of them were way, open? Yeah, pretty good way to tell. Fuck, that's annoying. The boot was open and everything. And so they I was didn't like. Didn't even close it? Didn't even close it for me. Have a little bit of dignity for Christ's sake. God, like. so impolite. And yeah, and so they're so rudies. Yeah. Rudies, rudies, rudies. Yeah. And they've opened up everything. Everything is everywhere. And I'm just going, oh, fucking hell. So like I go and pick up my swimming bag and everything. And then I realise that my. My, uh, my key, my spare key is actually gone to the house. So I'm like, they're obviously now checking when I'm home and are going, um, uh, kind of just going. Oh, because they know it's here. Yeah, they know the car's here. So it's just like, I guess it's waiting is yours, for yours, so. like, does it your number underneath your car? Like, do yeah. they know which, oh, so yeah, they, yeah, know, they which know which house. house. Yeah, so like, that's they're obviously waiting, you know. So but, but for anyway, for I guess for me to go out, me to not to be home because oh, then so they can easily leave. get in. Well, so I'm getting the locks changed, and right? that's going to cost you money. That's going to cost me money. But the other Sammy. thing is that the the fly wire door I can lock that one. Oh, right? okay. So I can lock that one, and then the other one. So and do you anyway, have a key for that? Have a key for that. Oh, so that's, yeah, fine. So I was I did that last night. But then the man and were like just in bed, and any time there was a noise, I was like, it's either someone breaking in or a rat, and I don't know which <laughs> one's worse. Like I was like, I was like, I was like, hold on, it could be someone breaking in, or it could be a rat. Anyway, Could be a rat breaking there was in. a guy up there last was night. Was there? Yeah, 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 there was a guy up How? there. How? How do you know that? So, uh, there's a thing called a, um, a peephole. Oh. Yeah, and he um, kept doing that at the door. To your door? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Could you, and you could see him? I could see him through there. Yeah, yeah. That's terrifying. Terrifying. Did you but, call the police? No, I didn't. But I've, but I've also had- Who was it? Um, was it Will Anderson? It was Will Anderson. But I've also had people- um, That's terrifying. I've had someone break into my house before, like when Whilst I was in, in there. there. Yeah. No. I was in bed. <gasps> Yeah, and, and it was a studio they... apartment, so they walked right in, and I was in bed. And what? Did... And they went, oh, wrong, wrong, um, wrong place. Oh my god! Yeah, but I heard them at the door, and I was just like, it was so. How did they get in? Did they? Was you, you just hadn't locked it? No, no, I locked it. Yeah, they somehow got in, but yeah, but that's I was terrifying. Like, yeah, terrifying. And it was like I'm just in bed, and then I just um pulled back my sheet and said, "But you're welcome to join." <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. But see, I've been I'm, waiting for you. Diggs is if you're going to break into a house, Diggs is at first sight he would be terrifying. Yeah. Like if he's jumping up on you because he jumps on you. Yeah, so he, he would jump on them, and it is a little bit terrifying. Would he bark at the door if someone was there? Yeah, I've he never heard he never does not bark. Can you tell him? Can you teach him? I can bark? tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how to do vocal warm ups and stuff. Could uh, you ro- put? Ro- ro- could ro- you put a, um, a gun uh, at the door? Booby no, trap, like booby a, trap the house. like a sign on the door that said like "Beware, scary dog." Maybe, and That's this is my you're face. Have to. Oh, very scary. Uh, dog. Actually, I'm going to booby trap the whole house. I'm going to have a rifle at the front door. That's a good idea. And just heaps of oh, booby like, traps. But, I, but I forget Home about Alone. them all. Yes, have you seen Home Alone? Hey, yes, that's good. I'm going to do the that. Nail, the nail, the tar on the, on the staircase. Yeah, I'm going to do that. To your house. Okay, I don't dox I'm going to do that. Staircase, yep. put a nail, tar, and then a this nail. That's good. I'm going to have lots and of booby traps. And then right at the top, yep. tin of paint. Swings down, knocks him in the face. This is hilarious stuff. Yeah. I'm going to do all of yeah. this. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, it's solved. I'm going to booby trap the whole house. Sammy, that is terrifying. Terrifying. Is oh my god! Now I know what my spooky wooky story is going to be about. Oh my! See, I don't live by myself. I don't know if you knew that. I don't live oh, by right. myself. I've never lived by myself. What? If I can be honest, beautiful woman like it's you. It's a little dream I have. To live by yourself. It looks amazing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. where everything is. Yes. You know how much you know ice cream's is. in your freezer. You know where ice cream's is. You know all – like you're like, I know how much ice cream's in there. I left it 40 that litres. Way. Exactly. 40, 40 <laughs> gallons. <laughs> yes, I know exactly how much. I know – I know exactly – like I know I, where the rats are. The, Netflix is always – there's going to be no handprints on my, t- yeah. my telly because I never touch it. You why never touch I, it. Why would you touch it? Why would I touch my telly? What do you but think? But for what some reason – Everyone in my house, I don't know if it's Lucas or not, touching the telly. Always touching, touching the telly. telly. What's touching when the telly's telly off, it's just covered in oh, I hate that. What are you touching the telly well, for? I don't know. Ari's, I think he's like trying to reach. Oh, uh, reach into it. To, oh, him. when you're on the TV, maybe. Oh, he's no, touching I think it's it. like poor Patrol. Oh. Anyway, I. 
think I would be quite scared so because when Lucas goes away, which is very rare, but this month heaps, I'm lying in bed. The other night I did think someone's going to come in. If, if someone came in, yep. what would I do? Yeah. What the fuck would I do? I'd just you run. Need I'd get all the kids in. I'd have to like – I'd be like, get in there. Yeah. I'd get the girls to run into Ari's room. We'd go in there and we'd like close the door. Get and the sauna shotgun. Well, I would, well, why would they want us? Like I'd just let them take whatever. Oh, okay, right. right. But why I don't you get, put your head out and go, would you take us with you? Uh, can I live by myself? What about me? <laughs> Do you have a, a studio apartment? Do you have a studio one? apartment for one? LOL. Please. I'll pay. I want to eat some Doritos in bed. Oh, fuck. That sounds amazing. Come on then. Let's go. But I don't – I think that I would be very – I think I'd be really scared of living by myself. You're a very brave man. I'm, I'm brave. Thank you for saying that. But I've got the best guard dog in the world. No, you don't. <laughs> The rats would do better. They, are, they would Actually, do so much better. Actually, keep the rats. Keep the oh, rats. They, they can guard from in. digs. Digs will be behind my legs. Like, when what is the this, hell? When's the locksmith coming? Today. Later today. That's another. That's such an annoying thing for that person to do to you. Hey, but you know what? What? I love locksmiths. <laughs> do you? <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm not sure. Supporting that trade. I love supporting that trade. It's and a I don't dying trade. I don't think AI's they've spoken about it enough. <laughs> you ready for the first segment? Letter to your aunties. Dear aunties, I got too drunk at my office party and have to go in Monday. What do I do? I wouldn't worry about it, mate. Uh, I think you're fine. Cara, we've all done this. Cara. Okay, Cara, this is what happens, okay? You need to, because I, um, I, I think that it's how you – Deal with it. Correct. So if you are really embarrassed about yeah. it, and show thank you so much. Thank for you my so much jams. for your beautiful jams. Um, if you are yeah, really beautiful jams glasses, PS. Oh God, it's so nice. It They're actually so tastes, it tastes better in the jams glasses, isn't it? Because this is gifted the, by jams. Oh, they, glasses they gifted by jams. Yeah, we have so much to tell oh, you guys about jams. We're going to talk to you guys about it soon. But this is we've had this made huge. huge progress with yeah, jams. Yeah, I'm so yeah, sorry, Cara. Yeah, Let me talk to you about you. Okay, Cara, what have you got on love? Cara, listen to me. It's about it's about how you handle it. So if you're really embarrassed, mm. they mm. will know that you're embarrassed and they'll be like, oh, this is either – she does this all the time. Yeah. And she's got a drinking problem. Yeah. Yes? Yes. Or, um, you know, I don't know. Like you just – you can't show your shame. No. You can – Apologize to go far out. I got. Yeah. I, I did not. I did not eat enough. Whoo! I yeah. will not be drinking at the next one. Ha, yeah. Ha, 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 ha. Or was it and my then, twin sister? Oh, that's good. Yeah. So I had to, actually, I got. I actually couldn't come. Yeah. To the party, I was so embarrassed about that that I actually sent my twin sister. Was everything okay? Was she fine? Was she, she fine? She's, got she's usually fine. She's got a drinking problem, but she, was she, she's usually she right? fine. She's been she's, she's been off the antibiotics. wagon or on the wagon for a very long time. Yeah. How was she? She's on antibiotics and she didn't eat lunch. Is she all right? Is she all right? <laughs> she's actually pretty cool. She's like the less hot version of me. Wouldn't you yeah. say that? Was she fine? Wouldn't you she say has, that? She has some views I certainly don't agree with. Was yeah, she's right? she got some horrible she, things to say she, to my boss. Express them. Yeah, she loves to take photos on the photocopier. Is that okay? <laughs> photos. She loves to get her butt imprints on the photocopier. Is that okay? Very Hope flirty. Do that. I think it's okay. I think you just have to wear it. And yeah. there might be a few comments like, fuck you. Really yeah. Sensitive. And you just have to be like, yeah. Yeah, I did. And then just don't do it again. Don't do it again. It's. Good. I think, yeah, I, I get um, uh, I get that. What's it called? Like anxiety. Oh, and yeah, get, yeah, and, yeah. And it's, it's horrible feeling. feeling. I've done it before. I was once at an office Christmas party where there was a big, like, um, a big, they kind of closed this section off and it had like these fake, well, fake, but, you know, um, just they, they, they had sectioned it off with all these, a new wall that was like, like a partition like or a something. Partition. And, um, and I was like, oh, my God, I got so drunk the next I said to someone else, like, oh, my God, I was so drunk at the Christmas party yeah. last night. And he goes, I know, you tried to open a wall. <laughs> so well, I was like, yeah. What's behind Yeah, it was. What's behind the wall? What's oh everyone God, hiding like then? the Truman Show. Yeah. Who is watching me? What's everyone hiding then? Oh, exactly. oh, there's so many options, Cara. I wouldn't worry about it too much. I guess if, it's a, if it happens it. all the time, sure. Yes. But if it's not happening all the time, who gives a flying exactly. shit about it? And everyone's done it. And then all that will yes. it, all it will do for you is it will make you empathise with the person, the next person who does it. And there will be a next person who does it. There always there is. Probably be me today. Probably be me today. But well. it, it's just about like going, okay, yep. I'm going to wear this. You can say whatever you want to say, but you will never see me that messy again. Yeah. Mark my words. Mark my Mark words. Them. Yep. Look, hey. Right in, right into us. We'd love to hear from you. Dear drunk aunties at gmail.com. Why don't you send us a little speak pipe? God, we'd love to hear your voice. Oh, we solve them. Oh, we solve them. But every if I time. were, if I like, I'm just putting my drunk auntie hat yeah. on for that problem. Mm. It is, you go in and deny everything. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Always deny, deny everything. Deny, yeah. deny, deny. Nothing ever happened. Say your drink got spiked. Yep. And Blame also, someone. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, f- yeah, finger someone out. 
Okay. <laughs> Whoa. And just say, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I, I think it was right. him. Oh, it's fine. I was if someone farm. goes, no, no, you're falling down, just be like, yeah. It's because I wanted to see what the carpet smelled like. Yeah, yeah, okay, great. Or have an excuse for everything. Yeah, I was just checking out the toilet bowl. I was just checking it out, seeing if it was dirty. Wait, make it worse. Ready for the first segment? No. Live, laugh, love. You're crazy. There's no such thing as gaslighting. Okay. Do you know the difference between curtains and toilet paper? No? (laughs) Then it was you. That's disgusting. (laughs) <laughs> What's the opposite? <clears throat> What's the opposite of Christopher Reeves? Christopher what? Walken. Christopher. Christopher Reeve. You know that. Christopher. Um, yeah. Are you trying to say Christopher? Chris. I say Christopher. Do you? Yeah, Christopher. That's incorrect. Well, it's actually fun for the joke. Christopher Reeve. Christopher <laughs> Walken. A snake walks into a bar. I don't even get it. The bartender asks, "How did you do that?" Because snake can't walk. How do you cancel your appointment at the sperm bank? Just tell them you can't come. Yuck. <laughs> What's the difference between a good joke and a bad joke timing? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you like that? That's fine. Because no, you actually would have – you had to get that right. You had to get that right. You had, you had to get, get that right on right the first So actually point. timing yep. makes a lot of sense. Yeah, that's I like actually that. A, that's, that's actually pretty really good. smart. You should do that in your um, next stand-up show. I might show. do that in my next stand-up show. A blind man walks into a bar and a chair and a table. <laughs> Disabilities. <laughs> All right. Leave us a five star rating, five star review. There was we no would love there one. was one the come one was a little bit rude, but not No, you're too right. That's good. Because usually you get me at the end a real I really stinker. get you at the end, and this time I'm not doing that. Maybe yeah. that's for next time that I can build it up again. <laughs> we have a YouTube channel. Why don't you watch us? All the links are in the goddamn show notes. But if you would share this podcast with a friend, that would be wonderful. Oh, yeah. If you want to subscribe to the Friday episodes to get a little yeah. bit of extra funny into your week, we would absolutely love that. I'm stalling because it's time for Spooky. Spooky. This one's really spooky. Okay, yeah. so what do you think is important for a spooky story? Oh, my God. Spookiness. Okay. Well and done. stories. Okay, good. So this one, uh, another thing that I, like what I used to teach uh, high school, English. One of the scariest things say, you can do. Part of being part of a scary story or horror, the genre or thriller, is it needs there needs to be some element of suspense. Yes, 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 and yes, yes. Unpredictability. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, yes. So if it's too predictable, it's probably shit. Okay, sure. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Kick it. All right. All right. So let me know if they're the if that's a criteria. Let me yeah. know if this is a good one. It's your criteria. Not. Yeah. It is the criteria. Oh, the criteria. I'm Shakespeare. Okay. So about that. The title is He gave him his heart. Oh, God, this could be spooky. This could be spooky. This could be quite romantic and nice. Yep. Okay. Nico and Caleb had broken up the day before Valentine's Day. Oh, not the day before. I know. That's horrible. Unlucky. Oh, my God. Which put Nico in a depressed mood. It would. Fair enough, Nico. Fair enough, Nico. Hey, are you okay, Dave? We'll get you, girl. Are you okay, Dave? We'll come ask you. You can only ask on the day. Exactly. That's the rule. It's just been. Just been. So wait to wait a year. (laughs) You have to wait. We'll, We'll check in then. Yeah. As he sulked around his apartment, he sent Caleb one last gift. Okay. What is it? His heart. Oh, no. Hey, that would make it predictable. That would make it predictable. Can you please relax? Okay, I'm so sorry. They may not be a couple anymore, but they were still friends. That's true. Friendship is one of the most powerful ships in the world. As he set out the box and placed tissue and cloth inside, he called an acquaintance. Okay. He trusted this person to deliver the gift to their place. Mm. Nico knew this would be the last time he would give Caleb a gift from the heart. Okay. How are we feeling? I'm feeling nervous. He picked up the knife with a pleasant smile, knowing he was doing this in the name of love, oh, though beautiful. twisted as it seems. Doesn't sound twisted, it sounds romantic. <laughs> a crash of oh. <laughs> a crash of thunder echoed above him. Oh, no. That's his sound system. That's the, that's the gods telling him. It was him sunny out. He oh, okay. put that song on Thunder oh. Song. Thunderstruck. <laughs> I don't know. The, I obviously don't know the, the, yeah, the white guys. Yeah, yeah, Thunderstruck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, making the floor shake as droplets of red dripped onto the floor. 
paint? Is he painting? He's maybe paint. Maybe he's just painting. Maybe he's doing a paint and sip. Yeah. You know, the Pinot Noir. Was it the Pinot Noir one that you can do? Oh yeah, Picasso on paint. Or something okay. like that. Okay. Soon. Oh wait. Nico's vision became blurry as he weakly slumped to his knees. He felt his consciousness leaving him. Sorry. Oh my God. Sorry, that just accidentally came on. If we just play a bit of that. Well, you keep going. You keep going. Okay, over okay, the, over the but he wasn't done yet. He had to make sure it was perfect. Yeah. This isn't distracting. No, it's fine. When it was placed into the box, the gift was completely intact. I wonder what this gift is. What is the gift? I don't even know what the gift could be at this point. There's just blood on the floor. There's blood on the floor. And what's the title of the, sh- of the story? Heart, something about gave you my heart? Yeah, great. Great. Soon he would be with Caleb again, knowing that he could forever give... <laughs> Thunder. Okay, and then you think the story comes out. Okay, all right. Okay. Yeah, no, this is you. You okay? <laughs> you got it. You got this. You got this. <laughs> you got this. You got this. Soon he would be able to be with Caleb again, showing that he could forever give him all his love. <laughs> Nico just needed to carve a bit deeper. <laughs> You're gonna do a bit better. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Okay, Caleb, Caleb woke up to birds chirping outside his window. That sounds nice. That's nice. That's actually quite no beautiful. No thunder for that. No thunder for that. Don't need it. Birds don't chirp. Birds don't chirp. It was a nice reassurance compared to last night's roaring thunder. There we go. Sorry. Oh, you got it. You got it. You got it. And downpour of rain. When it stormed, he always... <laughs> he always he always felt safe in Nico's embrace. Oh, that's nice. Since he wasn't there, Caleb had to endure it alone. A soft knock was at the front door and he entered the kitchen. <laughs> okay, yeah, but who could it be? Uh, thank God we practiced this. Who it's actually working out perfectly. <laughs> who could Couldn't it be this early in the morning, he thought? Yeah, yeah. right. Caleb wasn't expecting anyone and nothing was supposed to be delivered. It's Valentine's it's Day. Weird. What My boyfriend's dead about? on the floor. Hey, how do you know that? Just, no, I don't Why know would you yet. think that? Know, yeah, There's been know, no yeah. indication. This, might be, this bit might be triggering for you. Right. Looking through the peephole, oh, he, was, like he saw that no one was there. Oh. That's weird. Just a, just a box? Were the neighbors, a bloodstained box? <laughs> were the neighbours' kids the playing pranks again? What the heck? Was These the guy who kids. broke into his car trying to get inside? I don't It's all triggering for me. He opened the door and looked around. He saw no one. <laughs> just as Caleb was <laughs> shut the door... His foot bumped against a heart-shaped box. Oh, he even got a heart-shaped box for it. Ground. A, for what? Like, but it wouldn't be a heart, would it? Like an actual heart? No, or the yeah, actual, I know, yeah. yeah. How do you know? How do you know? He looked intrigued. He picked up the box and took it inside. The box itself was oddly lukewarm. Lukewarm? So it's fresh. <laughs> He's done this. <laughs> what? I don't know. I don't know what it could what be fresh. Think? Probably it just is. a good puppy. Yeah, so you look. <laughs> With the heart of a puppy. A card was tucked in the front underneath a black ribbon wrapped around it. Caleb opened it and saw his name written on the front in elegant cursive. That's nice. That's nice. It's actually quite beautiful. Nico may have given it to him as one last Valentine's maybe, Day maybe. present. Maybe. Maybe he was that. Okay. Untying the ribbon around the box, he lifted the lid, letting it drop to the floor and peering inside. Caleb's eyes widened at what he saw. What could it be? What this could it be? Is, I don't know. It's killing me. Well, it's a puppy. It's a puppy. There, propped up on tissue and cloth, was a heart. Is <laughs> that the end? This couldn't be real. It's like two more sentences. Okay. This could be real, seconds. could it? Yep. To see if the suspicion was correct, he opened the card. <laughs> okay, what could the card say? Yep. To my dearest Caleb, though we may no longer be together, I wanted to send you one last gift to show you my love. It's a piece of me you will always have. Nico.
that was one of the spookiest stories I've think? ever heard. I didn't see that ending coming at Did all. So and that soundtrack, can I say that you yeah. paired so nicely with that? Thank you. Was so well, perfect. We practiced that. We wanted we to get every that. single bit that right. That took didn't know ages. the song well enough to, to do it. that, but that was great. I had to take a day off work for that. Oh, my God. That was actually really, really nice. Was it? It was actually, I, I mean, it was one of, the mean? Spooky, one of the spookiest things I've That's ever heard in my life. But can also, just for digs, can we just play one more song real quick? Just yeah. because we had our song. Is now that, Diggs got his. Is it Hungry Eyes? Does he love this song? Yeah, loves it. Does he? Actually, Ari loves this song too. This is the most downloaded song in the world. Is it really? Yeah, it's the most played song in the whole world. What about this one? It's young Justin Bieber. And yeah, I'm going to say it. I am a believer. Good on you. Thank you for saying that. Look, he's great. Hey, you ready for the next segment? Would you rather? Would you rather? Would you rather? I'm going to start. All right. Mm. Okay, Sammy. All right. Mm. I worked really hard on mine. I know. You're so sometimes, good at this. Sometimes you don't know this, but sometimes yeah. I make them up on the spot. What? I don't believe that. But I did it this time. I put in effort. Thunderstruck. Okay. Yep. And some of these, because I know that you are going to start a new job soon yeah so this is like i thought i'm trying to make them more applicable to you yeah applicable is that how you say it yeah okay would you rather yes go through the bins on your first day of work without offering an explanation you walk <laughs> in you start going through everyone's bins as they're awesome. sitting there the paper bins the the kitchen bin yeah he's this cool guy yep you don't offer a single explanation i don't have time you take some things out like yep. without Explain it. Like this, like a muesli wrapper Great. and a half eaten apple. Yep. Like someone's, um, like a sanitary napkin. Someone's heart. <sighs> Something that's like just that. Scary. That's that's a, that was unpredictable. That was unpredictable. Yeah, Very yeah, good. Yeah. That's how you do it. Uh, but only just your first day and then never do it again. Yeah, or okay. go through them once a week and have a good excuse. <sighs> once a week and have a good excuse. What's your excuse? I think people get used to it. Well, what's so I have to make up the excuse? Yes. Yeah. Um, What's the excuse? I think I've lost my glasses in there again. But you're wearing them. I've got two pairs. Okay. I can't find my glasses without my glasses. Week. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I think that's fun. Okay. Because well otherwise, done. I don't want. I don't want to do that. I don't want to be going through. No, you do have to. I would say my wedding ring. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's fine. Okay. Good. Okay. Right, I'll say your wedding good. ring. Yeah, I'm looking for bronze wedding ring. <laughs> I'm looking for bronze wedding ring. Would you rather only be able to whisper or only ever be able to shout? Uh. Whisper. Will you be a quiet girl then? Yeah, because you can get a microphone. That's actually true. Yeah. What are you getting a muzzle for the other one? Oh my god. Okay. Well, is that what you want every woman to have? A yes, muzzle? that's actually true. Can't drive trams. Can't <laughs> speak loudly. Oh my god. What can Can't we do? Can't go through bins. <laughs> Would you rather have your entire body turn lime green whenever you're nervous, or bright pink whenever you hate someone? Yeah. People know. People know what the colours mean. I think pink. Yeah, I'd you want to. Be people know that you hate them because I don't hate people often. Okay, but peop- when people annoy me, I think I don't. Yeah, bright pink. I, that's okay if they know. Okay, okay. So but nervous, pink, vulnerable. You don't want that. No, you don't want to be on stage, bright green. No way. Looking like the goddamn Grinch. No one would trust you. No one would trust you. Okay, ready? Yeah. Would you rather swim in an aquarium tank on a yes. like on a really busy day, like it's filled, and you're swimming yep. in it? With a mermaid's tail, because you know you can buy at the those, aquarium. You mean? At the aquarium, yeah, okay, right, right, very busy. Yeah, yeah. You've you've put on a mermaid's tail, okay, and you're swimming around, and everyone's like, "Oh, okay, this must be like He's a make fine. a wish thing." Yeah, right. Yeah, or ride. <laughs> sorry, ride a Shetland pony to your new job. Aquarium. <laughs> God, this new job, you must really want their respect. Yeah, this the is aquarium. Fun. I hope your boss is listening. The aquarium will be good. I you want to do yeah, that? Yeah, I think that'll be it's fun. Because it's beautiful it. and you look so gorgeous and glamorous. You can come down and get some lovely pics of me down there. It would be so funny to see it. It would be so a cute, you man. mean. You mean cute, in not it. funny. Cute. I've seen uh, one time I went with my brother to this like a watering hole in Darwin, I think we were, and there was a you woman. You mean a bloody pub? There was a woman who was like this, like a full of figure, lovely lady. Yeah, she's beautiful, nice. but she was wearing um, a mermaid's towel and her boyfriend was a fraction of her size. Like yes. Like much shorter. Yeah. Much. And he was like doing, he was, he had a, like a, 
what are these, Cam- camcorder, yes. and he was filming her as she was just like rolling around on the rocks. But loving and it. can I tell you, it was one of the most beautiful things in the world. Isn't that just gorgeous? She loved it, he loved it. Yeah, we're all they'd loving found it. Some, I loved it more than you anyone. You loved it, yeah. But they'd found something like, she was like, do you know what I want to do? And that, that was her suggestion. He was like, I do you know what, that. that's fucking awesome. Yeah, I love when people are really into things. Like people that yeah. do cosplay and everything, you're like, oh, good yeah. on you. Good yes. on you. And I love when they find each other. Yeah, that's like, really sweet. Like, he was sweet. like, do you know what I want? A voluptuous mermaid. And she was like, do you know what I want? Someone to hold my camcorder. Someone to shut up and just hold my camcorder <laughs> and shut the fuck up. Hey, ready for the final segment today? Yeah. Love hack. Okay, great, Have great. you got a love hack for me, babe? Yes, I do. I actually do. Okay, yep. ready? Yep. In an important job interview. Yes. Obviously, I'm thinking about a lot about you right. as I'm writing this episode. Right. In an important job interview. It's really important you really want it. Finish all their sentences, like guess them. They'd love that. And then, like, and uh, you will eventually get one right. <laughs> right. And they'll hire you because they will think they cannot possibly live their life without you. I love You've that. You've made yourself like yeah. so important. We could try it now. Too important. Okay. Okay. I'll. Um, do you want to do the finishing sentence or you want to start the sentence? I'll start the sentence. Okay. Great. So, what would you say your greatest right, we- so what your weaknesses are? Yes. Yes, yeah, so you're very smart. My greatest weaknesses are not knowing, um, not knowing what everyone else is going to say, but I do know what you're going to say. What would you say, say your, your greatest, greatest strength star are? sign is? <laughs> um, well, yeah, what is your greatest star <laughs> sign? That was exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> what is your greatest star sign? Cancer. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. <laughs> Something it's like okay. that. You have to hire me now. I love that. That's really, so that's a really, really good, good life hack. hack. Why don't you Beautiful leave us a five star rating, review. five star review? Why don't you? Yep. Read, we'll read it out on the goddamn podcast. podcast. Why don't you watch us on the YouTube, YouTube channel? channel? Gee whiz, we would love, love that. that. Why don't you, you leave us a five star rating, five star mail. review? I'm just saying it again for some reason. I don't know why. Because you're excited, watch and also you're YouTube. starting to think I can't live my life without it. That's right. Life hack was good. I was on fire last night. Right, indeed. Drunk aunties at gmail.com. Leave us a little speak pipe. All of the links are in the show notes. If you please share this with a goddamn friend and yeah. follow us on social media, we would love yeah. to get this podcast out there to as many people as possible. Dear drunk aunties on social media, me personally, Sammy Peterson, unofficial on Instagram, Bron Lewis, who's Bron Lewis Comedy. Yeah. Yeah, go on. Give us a little follow. Share it with a friend. Yeah. And on Fridays, our subscription podcast comes out. So you can listen to that if you want a little bit of extra funny in your goddamn week. Yeah, good girls. Have a good weekend, Chooks. All right, Chooks. Hooroo. Hooroo.